Hey everyone, this is Ms. Aki. I'm going to show you um, how to create a chart or a graph using Google Sheets. So I have it right here and A column is a mass in terms of kilograms and then in the B column is the kinetic energy in terms of um, joules. And then when you have it in the A column will always be graphed as your independent variable. And then the next columns B up to however many um, you fill out that will always be in your um, dependent axis or that will be the y axis so let's go ahead and take a look at this one you can either highlight all of the data that you have so you can pause this video and input your data right now and once you have highlighted you have two ways to get to your chart you can go ahead and go to insert and then click on chart right here or you can um, also go to um, this one right here, if this appears, your tools are in here. You can also click on this one. It's just insert chart. So either way, it works to click on that one. And then it generates a graph for you. Um, make sure that when you input your data, you don't put any letters right here, but just numbers. So it can detect that one right away. So once you have the graph, you can actually um, edit. You go to the chart editor right here. If it doesn't show up, you can click on the three buttons and then you can edit chart. And if this one will show up right here on the chart type, we are going to change it into a line one. I will like to choose a smooth line chart. And then we can go to customize. Let's go to series. I want to see the points. So right here, the point size is none. I'm going to change it away into 10. And then I'm going to make it as, you can change it. I can make it into that um, diamond right there. And I can also change the color. That's all good right now for the points. I would like to go ahead and uh, change the grid lines. If I change the grid lines, what I will do is um, I'll start with a vertical right here. So what goes up and down, I will go ahead and make sure that I have, uh, I'll put one. So that means I will have um, zero, one, two, that makes sense. So from the vertical, now I'm going to change into the horizontal. And then with the horizontal, the minor spacing, I will go ahead and put uh, one. So then you have um, one right here, but take a look at this. It actually doesn't start at zero. So I am going to go ahead and take a look at that one. Go ahead and take a look at the vertical axis, minimum volume, make sure I put a zero in there. And then it starts, and then I will go ahead and take a look at the horizontal as well. And then make sure that the minimum value is also zero. So now it moves up to zero right here. So I have four points, one, two, three, uh, four right there. So I guess that's good. Um, we have what we want. If you want to change the color of your line, you can actually highlight that. And then you can change it. Maybe I want it to be um, the dark red color and that's good so let's go ahead and continue customizing this one let's edit the chart let's go ahead and take a look at the title chart title right here i want to change the title right now it's automatic it takes the your independent independent variable i want to write graph of the relationship between mass and kinetic energy of an object. I'm going to click out and you see this one that is already in there. Um, I can also change that so it will be centered. There we go. And then I can go ahead and give it a pretty color. And that's it. So we are done. What you will do is you are going to copy the chart and then you go to your slide. Once you go to your slide, um, you are going to just paste it. And it says link to your spreadsheet. It's always good to link to your spreadsheet. Why? Because if you change your data, then your graph will automatically change as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make it small so that it will fit the area right there. And you are done. So now you can use this to answer the next part of your slides. Thank you, that's it.